Good morning, everyone. Namaste. Thank you for joining me and joining the rest of us today who are either going to be here live or going to be joining us at a later time. I want to welcome all of you. I appreciate every one of you who show up now or later. But really, it's all now, isn't it? So, welcome. And uh, my name is Rojani Daphne. And um, I just love to be able to share with you what inspires me each week. And um, I get those influences from you. So if there is anything that um, you would like me to speak on, or contemplate on so that we can share because whatever is arising in here in me and in you is also what is going on for everybody else as well so please feel free to to let me know so that I can create something beautiful to share with the rest of our sisters and brothers of the world so for today I want to share with you about feeling lost. I've been hearing a lot of, um, of people expressing that they feel lost or reading in post um, that people feel lost and not sure what's going on or what is what they're feeling maybe even. So and I want you to know for first of all that feeling lost is a universal feeling. It happens to everyone and um, and that is not unique to just you so and if so if that makes you feel that you are um, different or not good please don't um, it's it comes to every one of us and um, a beautiful quote from Hendy, Henry David Thoreau is not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves. And so it takes being lost so that we can come back to ourselves, to ponder, to ask, what's here? Where am I going? Where have I been? What is it I'm here for? And we ask many questions, don't we? So it's a moment of transformation. It's a doorway, it's a gateway for transforming what was to what may be. So it's really a great opportunity to be lost. <laughs> One may think that it's bad or not good and uh, that something might be wrong with you. On the contrary, you know what? <laughs> I forgot to plug in this little mic. So I'm trying this new setup. And I gotta get used to everything. Bit of hear better with this microphone. Okay, so that quote was, "Not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves." So so true, right? And uh, so feeling lost can be a turning point to finding yourself or to find passion or meaning in life. So it's a moment. It's a new beginning. <laughs> A new beginning with being able to hear me better would probably be helpful as well. And so I teach mindful meditation. And mindful meditation is really, in simplistic and very simplistic terms, is being to be here in this moment and being okay with everything at this moment um, with kindness, without judgment. So I think this is a mindfulness meditation is such an appropriate way to deal with all things happening in life. And so we're going to, I'm going to share with you how you can be mindful of being lost. And really this is a technique that you can use with anything. And so, <clears throat> so let's all take a pause. So I'm going to invite you now to close your eyes. Make sure you're comfortable. We're going to do a little meditation now. And I have cords that needs to be adjusted. <laughs> so, 
here we go. Closing your eyes, breathing in. how gravity is always here and you can always rely on gravity to keep you grounded. Despite what we may think otherwise at times. So feel into that groundedness, that gravity that's holding us down to this earth, our home. many wonderful sayings and one of them includes do you make regular visits to yourself do you make regular visits to yourself do you make regular visits to yourself your mind thinking so now bring let's bring that lost lo losing feeling and it's, I'm trying to make a pun of there's a song you know that loving feeling well what does the being lost feel like and losing just doesn't quite cut it does it <laughs> so let's open up to the feeling of feeling lost Feeling chaotic, feeling scared, feeling confused, feeling frustration, and let that feeling come and arise within your body with the concept of being lost. And let it start feeling into your body. Notice what you sense in your body. Typical places of sensation that you can easily spot are in your throat, or in your chest, or in your gut. Maybe even the shoulders. So scanning your body, noticing what that lost feeling feel like in your body. And opening up to that. Notice how you may want to cringe back. Notice how you may be repulsing, feeling lost. But keep, stay open. Hold, creating space for this feeling lost. 
such gentleness and such caring because it is so tender and it is fragile. And these feelings and emotions and sensations in your body too, they are fragile. But they all want to be respected and they all want to be acknowledged and they all want to be validated. And so let's hold our lost feeling with fragile honoring and respect of here you are, there you are. Oh, this is what loss feels like in my body. So we've gone through the awareness of recognizing that lost. And then we allow it to be and being okay with that. With open arms and just letting it be. And notice how your mind might be telling stories, how it creates, fabricates stories, which is what causes suffering or pain or discomfort that prolong this lost feeling. Notice what arises. So now we're investigating. Investigating what the lost feeling feels like, is like in our bodies. And the most important part is to be neutral. And to be a witness to be a third person observing what's going on, like maybe a play or a TV show or a video. And then we're gonna nurture. Whatever it is that you need right now, this nurturing Your body and your mind and your heart will be telling you what it is that you need. Tune into that. Listen into that. And honor what it is that you need as a comfort at this time. Maybe it's just gently holding or rocking or soothing or patting. Sometimes it's helpful to touch our heart putting our hand on our heart, or even touching our own hands and feeling that warm connection that we have. So recognizing, allowing, investigating, and then nurturing. So that's the ab abbreviation for RAIN. Recognizing, allowing, investigating, and nurturing. So what's important here is that we stop running away from what's happening on the outside, like that lost, that's, that's just a way to, it's, an, it's, it's a new beginning for you to go, oh, it's an opportunity for, make, for me to come back and make a visit to myself to see what's going on with me. And through that, we can transform the lost feeling into wisdom. And it takes practice. It's like brushing our teeth. Remember when you were a little kid, or maybe you've taught kids yourself, your own children, how, they, how to brush their teeth. You know, when to brush your teeth. Everything takes practice because there, some things are not automatic like breathing and like gravity that's holding us down or our ability to hear. So some of these practices, including meditation or coming back to ourselves, making regular visits to ourselves, require practice. And through practice, it becomes automatic, right? So now that you've been brushing your teeth for 47 years or so, now brushing is an automatic thing. Although sometimes you might say, oh, I don't really feel like brushing my teeth today. 
and then you learn the consequence of what not brushing your teeth feels like the next day. Same thing, meditation and coming, making regular visits to yourself is a practice. And it just takes an intention that you want to make regular visits to yourself. And when you want something, when you want something to go away, like this lost feeling, this chaotic feeling, confusion, this depression, this unworthiness, when you want something to go away, it's really a moment to return back to you. Not until we are lost do we begin to understand ourselves. So it's a moment of new beginning and transformation, and through that wisdom arise. And so I encourage you to make regular visits to yourself because that's where the gem is. That's where all the answers are. You have the wisdom within you. Speaking of wisdom and finding the gem within, I am crafting a trip to Thailand and one of our stops is to visit a temple that houses the Golden Buddha Temple. And this particular Buddha statue is significant because throughout history, it's made out of gold. And um, the people um, in that town wanted to protect this gold Buddha statue because they were being raided regularly by another country. And um, so to hide the true value of this gold Buddha statue, they put stucco over it. And then hundreds, thousands of years later, this Buddha comes down to, um, to Bangkok and they, the people says, you know, it's time we find a proper home for this Buddha statue. So they build a hall, an indoor hall for the Buddha statue. And when they were getting to ready to lift this Buddha statue and to move it into the indoor hall, the stucco started to crack. <clears throat> So they halted and then they took the flashlight to go see, you know, to look at the extent of the damage. And they noticed that there was gleaming coming back from the flashlight. So they started chipping away and they discovered the golden Buddha. And it's such an important message, an important life lesson personally for me because, you know, going, growing up, life was hard. There were fun moments too, but I remember the hard stuff, the painful stuff, because that's what made me stronger. But at the same time, I built up this wall of protection. I call them brick walls. At one point, I was so proud of my brick wall. I say, I'm going to give you the key to my heart so that you can open this tiny little door into my heart. And now I'm unraveling, unstacking my wall. And so we all have this precious light of pure wisdom and love inside us that we have worked so hard in our lives to protect because it does get hurt. And so they become our protection layers. In any case, I'd love to share that opportunity with you to in Thailand and I'm doing that trip December 30th through January 13th. If you're interested, just send me a note. I'll share with you the itinerary. And um, as always, it is a pleasure to be here with you and share with you my thoughts. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, and I hope this is meaningful for you. Feel free to share or invite um, other people to the Divine Feminine page. You can add them yourselves. And if you would like more, sample my work. Sample my work is at lotusessencht.com. Sample my work. Again, thank you so much for coming. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.